Hi guys, good morning. Hope you are all doing well. Today we will be talking about Samuel A.G. Crowther. Samuel A.G. Crowther was a Yoruba linguist and the first African Anglican bishop in Nigeria. Born in Osogun in what is in Lainlate, Oyo State, Nigeria, he and his family were captured by Fulani slave raiders when he was about 12 years old. Crowther was freed from slavery at a coastal port by the Royal Navy's West Africa Squadron, which was enforcing the ban against the Atlantic slave trade. The liberated peoples were resettled in Sierra Leone. In Sierra Leone, Aji adopted an English name of Samuel Crowther, and began his education in English. He adopted Christianity and also identified with Sierra Leone's then ascendant Creole ethnic group. He studied languages and was ordained as a minister in England, where he later received a doctoral degree from Oxford University. He prepared a Yoruba grammar and translation of the Anglican Book of Common Prayer into Yoruba, also working on a Yoruba version of the Bible as well as other language projects a grandson of King Abayo Dun, through his mother, Afala. Aji was around 12 years old when he and his family were captured, along with his entire village, by Fulani slave raiders in March of 1821 and sold to Portuguese slave traders. His mother, Afala, who was later baptized with the name Hannah, toddler brother, and other family members were among the captives. His father, Ayemi, was most likely killed in the raid of his villager shortly afterwards. The British had outlawed the Atlantic slave trade in the early 19th century and used their navy to patrol the coast of Africa. Before the slave ship left port for the Americas, where Spain and Portugal still permitted the international slave in their colonies, the British Empire and the United States still allowed slavery, but had banned the transatlantic import and vend of slaves. It was boarded by crew from a British Royal Navy ship under the command of Captain Henry Leake. They freed the captives, and took Aji and his family to Freetown, Sierra Leone, where they were resettled by local authorities. While in Sierra Leone, Crowther was cared for by the Anglican Church Missionary Society CMS, and was taught English. He converted to Christianity. On the 11th of December 1825 he was baptized. He named himself after Samuel Crowther, Vicar of Christ Church, Newgate. London, and one of the pioneers of the Centimeters Aji was baptized by John Rabel. While in Freetown, Crowther became interested in languages. In 1826 he was taken to England to attend the School of St. Mary's Church in Islington, which had established a connection with free Africans in the 18th century. He returned to Freetown in 1827. He was the first student admitted to the newly opened Fur Bay College, an Anglican missionary school. Because of his interest in language, he studied Latin and Greek of the classical curriculum, but also Tem of West Africa. After completing his studies, Crowther began teaching at the school. Crowther married a Shaol mistress, Asano, that is Hasana. She was formerly Muslim, baptized Susan. She had been liberated from the same Portuguese slave ship as Eji, and was among the captives resettled in Sierra Leone. She had also converted to Christianity. Their several children included Anderson Coates Crowther, who later entered the ministry and in 1891 became Archdeacon of the Niger Delta. Susan and Crowther's second daughter, Abigail, married Thomas Babington Macaulay, a junior associate. Their son and Crowther's grandson, Herbert Macaulay, became one of the first Nigerian nationalists. He played an important role in ending British colonial rule in Nigeria. Crowther was selected to accompany the missionary James Sean on the Niger expedition of 1841. Together with Sean, he was expected to learn how software use on the expedition. Its goal was to stimulate commerce, teach agricultural techniques, encourage Christianity, and help end the slave trade. Following the expedition, Crowther was recalled to England, where he was trained as a minister and ordained by the Bishop of London. Sean wrote to the Church Missionary Society noting Crowther's usefulness and ability on the expedition, recommending that he be prepared for ordination. Crowther returned to Africa in 1843 and, with Henry Townsend, opened a mission in Abiyakuba, in today's Ogun State, Nigeria. Crowther began translating the Bible into Yoruba and compiling a Yoruba dictionary. In 1843, his grammar book was published, which he had begun working on during the Niger expedition. 
the Arupa version of the Anglican Book of Common Prayer followed later. Crowther also compiled a vocabulary of the Arupa language, including a large number of local proverbs, published in London in 1852. He also began codifying other languages. Following the British Niger expeditions of 1854 and 1857, Crowther, assisted by a young Igbo interpreter named Simon Jonas, produced a primer for the Igbo language in 1857. He published one for the Niup language in 1860, and a full grammar and vocabulary of Niup in 1864. Crowther had become a close associate and friend of Captain James Pinson Labulo Davies, an influential politician, mariner, philanthropist and industrialist in colonial Lagos. The two men collaborated on social initiatives in Lagos, such as the founding of the Academy, a social and cultural center for public enlightenment, on the 24th of October 1866. Crowther was the first patron and Captain J. P. L. Davies was the first president. Crowther died of a stroke in Lagos on the 31st of December 1891. He was buried at a jail cemetery in Lagos. In 1971 the Lagos state government under Mobilaji Johnson wanted to redevelop the site of the cemetery for new government offices and issued notices to families of the deceased. Seth Kale, Anglican Bishop of Lagos, representing the Anglican community and Crowther's family, delayed exhumation and reburial burial until 1976. An elaborate ceremony was held at a new burial site and a cenotaph was installed at Cathedral Church of Christ, Lagos. If you enjoyed this episode kindly subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video.